How's it going boys? Welcome back to another ranking video. In this video, we're going to be ranking every SMG in BO1 from worst to best. Now I know SMGs aren't really used in BO1 due to most of them just kind of being bad, but let's show the SMG some love and give them a proper ranking to see which one comes out on top. As always, we'll be going over all the stats. If you guys do enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe and join the journey as we'll be doing top 5s and ranking videos from World at War to BO3. Without wasting any more time, let's get right to it. Coming in at dead last, we have quite arguably the worst SMG in COD Zombies history, and of course, it's the PM-63. Now, it's no shocker that this gun came in last, and let me tell you why. The PM-63 comes with a base damage of 60 to 100, and when upgraded, 90 to 140, which for BO1 SMGs is pretty standard. What saves most of the SMGs on this list is definitely the headshot multiplier, and the PM-63 is no exception with a headshot multiplier of 4 times, or when upgraded, a 5 times headshot multiplier. And that's about where the pros stop with the PM-63 because the fire rate is a crazy 937 rounds per minute, which would be good if the ammo existed to begin with. It has a max size of 20 and 100 reserve, and when you do upgrade it, it does get a slight boost at 25 for both guns and 225 in reserve, which sounds decent if the ammo didn't disappear in 2 seconds. The reload speed for the unupgraded version is solid at 2 seconds or 2.8 seconds when empty, but when it's upgraded, the reload speed is just too slow at 3 seconds or 3.4 seconds when empty. There isn't really much good to say about this weapon. I know I shit on the Spectre a lot, but this thing is worse in every single way. Its only upside is it's a wall weapon so you can just keep buying ammo, but even then, you barely make your points back. It really pains me to say it, but at number 5, we have the MP5K. Now before everybody swarms me, let me explain. In multiplayer, it's a fantastic gun and it's quite possibly the most satisfying weapon to hear and use in terms of SMGs. But in zombies, they really dog this weapon with a base damage of 50 to 100 and when upgraded 80 to 140. The headshot multiplier is basically the same at the rest at 4 times or when upgraded a 5 times headshot multiplier. Here's where things do change with the fire rate of 750 rounds per minute, which to me is a pro as you'll be able to keep the gun a little bit longer. That's about where it ends though, as the ammo for the MP5 is a low 30 in the mag and 120 in reserve, or when upgraded, 40 in the mag and 200 in reserve. The reload speed is on the slower side for SMGs at 2.9 seconds or 3.2 when empty. I will say this is the SMG I use the most aside from the MP40, but it just isn't good aside from map placement, so unfortunately it's stuck down at number 5. At number 4 we have the MPL. I struggled with this gun and the gun after this one, but ultimately this is solely on stats and performance, so we're just gonna give it to the MPL. Now this gun is a classic, I can't even deny that. I pick it up every single time I play 5. Not good, but good enough for those early rounds, you know? It has a base damage of 60 to 100 and when upgraded 90 to 140 with a headshot multiplier of 4 times or when upgraded a 5 times headshot multiplier. The fire rate is also cranked up to 937 which as we all know is good for SMGs but just not for this game. The mag size is a cute 24 round mag with 120 in reserve or when upgraded 40 in the mag and 200 in reserve. The reload speed is fast like most others at 2.2 seconds or 3 seconds when empty. The MPL isn't good by any means, but I think anything from here on out is at least usable to some extent up to round 20, and trust me, 20 is pushing it for some of these. At number 3, we have my least favorite gun on this list, but I gotta give it number 3, it's the Spectre. If you saw my last video, you'll know how badly I hate this gun. I still do believe it's pointless to have, especially the mystery box, but I guess I'll give it its flowers. It has the lowest damage on this list at 50 to 90 or when upgraded 80 to 130 with a headshot multiplier of 4 times or 5 when upgraded. It has a fire rate of 937 rounds per minute which again is terrible for this weapon. The Spectre has a max size of 30 rounds and 120 in reserve or when upgraded 45 in the mag and 225 in reserve. Which is slightly more than the rest so I guess it makes up for the damage. The reload speed is a fair 2.3 seconds or 3 seconds when empty. The only reason I put this weapon above even the PM-63 is because of its very fast mobility, which is on par with the ballistic knife making it the fastest weapon to run trains with, which can be helpful for maps without stamina up, but that's its only good redeeming quality. Now we get to the guns that could actually do some work. Taking second place, we have the MP40. I've used this gun, I'm pretty sure you've all used this gun, it's just your good old reliable SMG. This is probably everyone's most used SMG in the game hands down. The MP40 comes with a standard base damage of 60 to 100, but where it does shine is when you upgrade it shooting it up to 120 to 200 damage. It really doesn't get any better than that for SMGs as it even outperforms a good amount of ARs in the game. The fire rate is a slow but nice 535 rounds per minute, and goes up a bit more when you upgrade it at 600 rounds per minute, which I think is a sweet spot for most weapons. It doesn't shoot too slow, but not too fast where you feel like you're burning through ammo. The max size is quite nice at 32 in the mag and 192 in reserve, which for early rounds it's actually quite high but it does fall off pretty fast. When upgraded you get 64 in the mag and the same 192 in reserve. The reload speed looks slow but it's actually quite fast at 2.3 seconds or 2.9 seconds when empty. Realistically you can put the MP40 or the other weapon at number 1 depending on your playstyle or preference. If you choose to upgrade the MP40 you can actually keep it to a decently high round. 
Taking the number one spot on today's list is the AK-74U. I personally don't really pick this weapon over the MP40 due to map location, but I'd be doing the AK-74 a disservice if I didn't say this is the most well-rounded SMG in BO1 zombies. It has a base damage of 80 to 120, which isn't terrible, but when upgraded it does go up to 140 to 190 damage. Slightly lower than the MP40, but not by a huge amount. Like the other SMGs, it has a headshot multiplier of 4 times, or when upgraded a 5 times headshot multiplier. The fire rate for the AK-74 is a little higher at 750 rounds per minute for both versions of the gun, which is on the faster side, but the ammo does accommodate for that fire rate unlike most other weapons on the list. It has a max size of 20 and 160 in reserve, and when upgraded, the ammo is actually good at 40 in the mag and 280 in reserve. The reload speed is among the highest for SMGs at 2.1 seconds or 2.8 seconds when empty. Between this and the MP40, you decide whether you prefer slightly higher damage and a bit less ammo, or less damage but more ammo. The AK-74U is overall a more balanced weapon with better recoil and about an extra 2 mags. And again, the damage is lower but the ammo definitely saves this gun. That's gonna do it for today's ranking video boys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you disagree with any of the placements on this list, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you want to see me rank any other gun categories in BO1, whether zombies or multiplayer, also feel free to leave it in the comments below. Before I end, I just want to give a quick thank you to those who watch these videos, and I really do appreciate it. These are really fun to make. Feel free to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one.